Recently, the National Cattlemen's Beef Association, as a contractor to the Beef Checkoff, partnered with a group of culinary professionals called Chef's Roll to create a series of videos highlighting the importance of the Beef Quality Assurance Program for both cattle producers and the chefs who serve beef. Each video follows a chef as they visit a cattle operation to learn how BQA practices are used to sustainably and responsibly raise high quality beef. The chefs then in turn prepare their signature beef dish for the producer. Here's a look at one of those videos. My name is Catherine Mathis. I'm the executive chef and owner of Backdoor Barbecue and Pizzeria Gusto. I grew up in Oklahoma. I've been a chef for 30 plus years. I've done everything from fine dining to delis. My name's Tom Fanning. We're in Buffalo, Oklahoma. This is Buffalo Feeders. It's a 32,000 head cattle feeding operation in Northwest Oklahoma. Buffalo Feeders is a custom feed yard. And a feed yard, we receive cattle off of grass, usually a seven to 800 pound animal that comes in here. Meeting Tom was amazing. He was very educational, very knowledgeable. Any question that I had, he had a great answer for. And just seeing him working around the pens, around the cows, knowing that his staff, some of his staff has been there for 30 plus years and they're into the fourth generation. This is a smoked pastrami sandwich on jalapeno cornbread with bread and butter pickles, red onion, Swiss cheese, and mayo mustard. The smoked pastrami is special because I actually won a contest with it, and most people don't smoke pastrami. It's getting a little more popular, uh, but we smoke it for 14 hours. We make our own brine. It brines for seven days. It's smoked for, for 14 hours. So BQA, the Beef Quality Assurance Program is. Everything we do, whether it's receiving grain and our quality control for our ingredients that go into the ration, with cattle handling, cattle care in the pens, and just the overall care and welfare of the animals. Because the right way is the only way. I love cooking with beef because it's versatile. Like you can grill it, you can smoke it, you can sear it. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Joining us now to share her behind the scenes story is Chef Catherine Mathis. Chef, thanks for being here. First, can you tell us a little bit about your background as a chef? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I remember seeing Ju Julia Child for the first time when I was a kid and thought that that's something I wanted to do. So my mom was always a good cook. So I, you know, was always in the kitchen with her, um, was going to school was going to college and needed to take a summer break. Just took a job in a restaurant and never went back to school. Uh, mm -hmm. Been doing this since I was 21 and I'm I'm only 25 now, so. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all right? <laughs> no, so uh, let's see, I've been doing it for 30 plus years. What was it like working with Tom Fanning to create this video? So. Tom is an, um, I mean, he's, I'd never met him before. And he was like, he wasn't what I pictured a feedlot manager to be. He was really laid back. He, um, I mean, I, I'm not quite sure his degree from OSU, but he's, you know, well-educated, been in the business, seems to really just love what he does. And I gathered that he just loves his life. And, you know, a lot of his employees on the lot have been there 20 plus years. So he runs a really great business and he's, he's really lighthearted. Like I just, I don't know what I expected from a feedlot manager, but had you ever been to a feed yard before? What were your expectations going in? Um, you know, I've been to a feed yard before. I guess I never, I mean, it had been 20 some years ago. I guess I never remembered meeting the manager or whatever, but you know, the guy leading us through that was a cowboy and rough and tough. And I mean, Tom just wasn't that. I have driven by feedlots. There were, I grew up in the Panhandle, Oklahoma, so there's feedlots and pig farms all over 
you know, circling our city of Gaiman and just the expectation of it being a stinky, smelly, dirty place. It, it wasn't that, um, I mean, granted, we were first thing in the morning, so it didn't didn't have a chance for it to get hot and stinky and steamy. But it probably was the cleanest feedlot that I've seen or been to. Chef, what was your biggest takeaway from your visit in terms of beef production? I think the big takeaway is just how knowledgeable he is about taking care of the cows. Uh, had no idea that they have a nutritionist come in and make sure that all the diets are right to feed the cows as they grow. Like, you know, the cows come in at a certain weight and go out at a certain weight and they're moved from block to block, depending on their size and their age. And I was just amazed at how, technology in the feedlot has gotten great like everything all the tr feed trucks have gps and if they're going down the wrong road to feed the wrong and start feeding the wrong block then there's a siren that goes there's an alarm that goes off to alert them of that they tom's lot they mix their own they have they get corn and cook it and then roll it and so they make their own mixes. So, I mean, that was something I never, I never, I never knew happened. Like I, I just envisioned, you know, you throw a bunch of stuff in a truck and then you just feed the cows, but like, it's very, it, the, the, the technology behind his lot and maybe all the lots now are that way, but I was amazed at all of that. Have you had any feedback either from your consumers or from your fellow chefs about this video? Um, everybody has given me a thumbs up on that. The customers, you know, when we put the video out, everybody loved the video. They, uh, they were excited to see, you know, that I'd gone to a feedlot and, you know, I had a lot of people ask me how that was and, you know, my, what my experience was. Um, and a lot of the chefs, you know, would like to go out and visit a feedlot now. What is it that you like most about cooking with beef? <laughs> it's really versatile. It's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You know, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. You can do anything with it. It, it, it translates into all, the, all sorts of different cuisines. So, you know, we have uh, Big Truck Tacos, Bagdoor Barbecue, and Pizzeria Gusto, and beef is used at all three of those restaurants in various ways and forms. Chef Catherine, thank you for your time. To watch the rest of the Chef's Rolls videos or learn about some of the other great ways checkoff dollars are being used to increase beef demand, go to the website beefitswhatsfordinner.com. You'll also find many great resources that you can share with consumers about the value of the beef you raise.